So I wish I had a hot video goddess that would pour me a beer while I filmed, but I don't have a hot video goddess. I just have a pretty hot wife. But uh, this is a revisit of the clone of Winter Welcome from Samuel Smith. Uh, this is the homebrewed version. Uh, as you can see, I just poured it out of the keg through my tap system. Um, so coming out, it is it is very cold right now. So it does have uh, some chill haze to it. It should be a lot clearer than that. Uh, this one is at 6.83%. Yes, 6.83% ABV. Uh, it did not compare to the 2016-2017 Winter Welcome from Samuel Smith. Um, but in comparing it to that, this failed on its own. Let's see how it does. First off, from the tap, we got uh, some fairly tight, uh, kind of off-white. They look very white on camera. Uh, bubbles, you do get a uh, decent amount of lacing going on. The color of this thing is kind of a light amber, and at this moment we'll call it hazy. If, uh, if I bottled this and warmed it up to say 45 to 50 degrees, it may clear out a little bit, but it's probably about 40 degrees right now. Uh, it's going for the aroma. So the aroma on this thing smells like baby food, but it's like pear, maybe a little tiny bit of banana mixed in with it. So it already smells like something you should just eat. So it's like uh, been. Baby food is always kind of like, uh, seems to be on the sweeter end. Uh, so, yeah, I, I get pear and like a tad bit of banana out of it. I don't know where the hell the banana is coming from. <laughs> this was London, I think I used London Ale 3 yeast. So, it's not a Belgian style yeast. I don't know where the banana is coming out of this. But, maybe it's just the, the sweeter pear note that I'm definitely getting. Uh, it's going for the first swig. So it drinks down really smooth. Uh, don't notice any alcohol. Um, and just shy of 7% alcohol. I don't know. Today, you know, you get 10 percenters that don't taste like alcohol, so hey, no magical feet here, but whatever. Uh, there is that uh, little bit of uh, pear coming through. Uh, I also pick up a little bit of a very low uh, malt kind of, uh, I'm going to say it's kind of like on, on the hay, the hay side of the malt. So, along with that hay, you kind of get like a little tad bit of grassiness, but it's not bad. Um, still some of that, that pear coming through. Uh, if you're inhaling while you're drinking, you're still getting that sweet baby food pear banana aroma coming through. So, it does drink very well. Um, it's, a, it's a very good beer. Uh, it does not match up as a comparison to to the clone but overall uh, I would have to say I'm very satisfied with how this at least turned out it's uh, super easy to drink and and flavorful has a great aroma and I'm, I'm not sad to have it so cheers guys thank you for watching